Kaliach, nie wiem, czy Kolada, Retro Cafe. To speak about Toastmasters in a tricky, natural way. And hello, I'm Tomasz. I'm one of the founders of the Leadership Club. And here with me is... Hi, I'm Czarek. I'm a pretty new member of uh, Toastmasters uh, and uh, not so long ago appointed VPN, VPN, Vice President of Membership. So, hello everyone. Yeah, he's responsible to converting guests into members. Uh, yes, yes, uh, at least I try. And I like to show them the benefits of being in Toastmasters. All right. Well, we can speak a lot of about officer roles and why you became vice president of membership. But what is more interesting for me is what was your first impression when you came to Toastmasters? Well, uh, uh, when I the first my face when I first began to to showing at Toastmasters Club is is uh, when my friend invited me. Uh, she was a uh, long uh, uh, Toastmaster uh, for a long time and uh, she tried to convince me to, to come uh, on many occasions and uh, there, there was one time when she was listen I have this great speech prepared and you need to you need to listen to it because it's also about you and I'm about me and she she's yes yes and you need to, you need to come and, okay, okay I need to, you need to go and she did that speech and it was, it was great, it was funny, it was informative and uh, I can saw in everyone's eyes that they were interested and she developed those public speaking skills only there because I, know her, I knew her uh, like for a very uh, long time and she didn't uh, have this uh, earlier so she managed to do this in Toastmaster Club only and it was a very, very, very impressive for me. And I, and I said to myself, okay, she can do that. I think I can also do that. So I entered Toastmasters and I think it's, it's for me. Okay, so the first impression was the speech of your friend uh, during Toastmasters meeting. And well, everyone were impressed. I'm not sure if I saw this speech, I was there. I think no, no, I, I don't think so. Oh, that's very, very. I don't think so. No. Okay, and during the break, when you you probably uh, go to her to congratulate, what do you yeah. say to her? Uh, well, what's more important, we had those ballots where where you have uh, you can give a feedback from yeah. from the audience to her. So I also give this feedback and I also show that many people did give her those ballots and uh, I w also was impressed by that because there was a feedback from everyone on, on, on the, on the play, uh, of the Toastmasters and there was so much information in, the, uh, in those ballots. Uh, I was impressed so of course I um, came to her told her that it was great, it was something that I didn't see in her uh, <laughs> earlier and i was really really impressed so i told her so many uh, so many good uh, um, feedback but i also managed to see in those palettes that though the feedback in there there was also um, some point to improvement and uh, th this is the second thing that uh, give me uh, so much respect for toastmaster Okay, because so uh, you saw it as the speech as a perfect or almost perfect yeah. and, and even then, yeah. <laughs> and then she got a lot of feedback what to improve yeah exactly <coughs> and, and, and for me uh, it was no it was perfect that there was, i wouldn't change anything there but even then the, the, those most uh, advanced most experienced toastmasters so yeah you can do this even better even if, <laughs> even if it's like here but you can go here so <laughs> And this is the, the Toastmaster way. Yeah, you can do this, do this better, but you can do this even better, right? Okay. And how long time ago it was this meeting with her? I think it was well, almost 
five months ago, or six months, or six or five months. Wow, yeah, you are really young member. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and okay. you're not a young member. <laughs> yeah. I, I know that you uh, were, were creating one of the Toastmaster clubs. Yes. Which one? Can you can you tell yes. us? Yes, uh, the leadership and the yeah, studio three Watch Toastmasters, the Polish speaking club. Yeah. Yeah. And I had completely different experience with like first impression of the leadership. It's because I was like hardcore Polish speaking Toastmaster. And my English language well I could speak. Right. I never prepared the speech in English before. When we started the meetings, obviously there was a need for someone to make a speech at the very beginning. And I remember there was the longest preparation ever I had to prepare a speech. It was in English. I spent more than nine hours just trying to write it down. That right. I never write down the speech. Right. Then next six hours it took me to remember it <laughs> right. yeah, I and my okay. icebreaker in english i started first manual uh, in english again to repeat yeah and i read everything from the notes right i, I was unable to speak in english when i had notes so i read my whole icebreaker in English. Even uh, you s had six hours of practice. Yes. You, 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 you yes, I was doing so many tricks. I was like even dancing and repeating at home. To yeah. make sure that I remember. Yeah, I know the trick. Yeah, <laughs> I, 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 started, I started even singing this icebreaker. Yeah. And still I couldn't remember. <laughs> oh, that's, that's, that's good. Yeah, so after like four years of experience in Toastmasters in <laughs> Polish language, right. I started in English. And I was like different. completely from I'm scratch. I, I'm, I'm starting from scratch. So when you said that your friend gave an ex extraordinary speech yeah. in English, for me it's question how long it took her to speak in English in public, yeah. and if she had same experience in other language like native language in Polish or. Or if you are native uh, from um, Mexico, right? Well, uh, I think that the, we we can meet, meet her with her, and she will give us give us the answer because I, I'm not sure, but I know that she uh, uh, put a lot of work to that, uh, okay. to for preparation for the speech. Uh, even before she joined Toastmasters, I know she she learned uh, English very good, so so, so she knew uh, English very good. So probably it was easier for her a little bit at, at least. Um, but I also wanted to ask you because you, you asked me uh, how long I'm in Toastmasters and how long you were in Toastmasters. Well, my first meeting at Toastmasters it was September 2008. September 2008. Okay. <laughs> yes. That's. Yes, yeah, it took uh, more than four years to register this Polish speaking clubs. Right. And then when we registered in June, we started English speaking meeting in July. And it took another half year or a little bit more to just start English speaking club. So it was like tremendous motivated leaders to create this the leadership club i was founder member but actually i was like i don't even remember i was secretary or i was yeah i, I think i was secretary at the very beginning because the core team i was only helping a little bit i was focusing still on the polish speaking club and i was president back then so i couldn't put full attention to the two clubs especially being official so yeah, there was a tremendous effort to open this club. So in one time you were a president of one club and a secretary in another club, and even yes, you were right. Yes, yes, it was a lot of work, I guess. Oh, a lot of commitment. I would right. not say a lot of a lot of work because sometimes 
Well, as, as a secretary, I always on the trainings for officers say that if you are secretary for half a year, you can do nothing or you can do a lot. And actually, this is the case for each officer. It's all, it's not a matter of your uh, amount of work you want to put, but the matter of the commitment. And actually, if you really committed, the time doesn't matter, actually. Yeah. If you really want something, you can do it. Yeah. Okay, so maybe you have uh, some some tip for me because, I, like I said, I'm VP, the vice president of membership. I try to um, give information to our, our guests, so to new members, uh, so that they can transition transi transition to uh, Toastmasters like smoothly, mm -hmm. and, and and you know convince them to join to, to make the all, to get those all benefits that uh, Toastmasters can can give you. Okay. But before I answer the question, tell me yeah. how many speeches you already did? Uh, four speeches. Four speeches yes. from the uh, old pathways. Money, no, no. From already pathways. From, yeah. And which part you uh, part? Uh, communication, uh, communication and presentation. Oh, okay. Yeah, I'm the only one in the, uh, the leadership club uh, who's doing this. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, I, I did the the test uh, that they they gave give me three three choices, and this one was most preferable for me. Wow. Okay. I took presentation mastery because to pitch to guests, actually, what is the benefit? You need to feel this benefit inside you, and then just communicate or present them. And my, that, that, that's why I also ask you for the first impression because when you want to make sure they have also same really good impression at the very beginning that will convince them to join you need to make sure that they have this first impression as good as you had you join okay. right you are doing your speeches yeah so this first impression is important for you and definitely for the guests to become members all right, so basically you're saying that every Toastmaster meeting should be like a great experience because uh, in every meeting there could be a guest who wants to get impressed. Exactly. Okay. Not, not only because of the speeches, but how he or she uh, was treated during right. the meeting. If there was enough explanation what actually is Toastmasters, or what he or she should do during the meeting or maybe give some clues where to look or at the very beginning ask why are you here and how I can help you find it, for example. So I would definitely start this conversation. Uh, but most important is, I believe, because in each role, each officer has some guidelines what he or she should do as an officer. But this is like small amount of things you can do or you should do, but this is plenty of what you can do. You can create your own committee. You can, you can do some campaigns yeah. even. You can like ask other people to actually no. refer friends, make many many different activities <laughs> and I would focus not about looking for some paths that already are taken but based on your experience when you join and what right. convinced you try to copy that experience as a VPN with the help of the club and the officers to make it happen this is that simple. Yeah, actually. that's it. it sounds so simple. <laughs> yeah. That's why I didn't want to give you like straight answers. Okay, you need to gather ten guests, speak with them during the break, give them application, and then call them after yeah. the <laughs> meeting to make it's sure done. they paid money and <laughs> fill the application. Up. <laughs> Sorry, yeah. this is too obvious. This is God what you can it. read in, <laughs> in the manual. No. <laughs> And you need to find your way. Okay, so on top of your head, what are the three things that actually guests may be convinced to become members? Well, uh, probably uh, this is hard to, to see for a guest who is uh, only one time on, on Toastmaster, but I, I think that many of us, me included, 
uh, is when I came first time uh, to the Toastmasters, I was very stressed when I was uh, on the spotlight and I couldn't uh, speak uh, clearly, uh, I couldn't uh, say what I wanted to say uh, because I lack, um, like, you know, speaking experience. Mm -hmm. uh, and everything that changes uh, in time when you take part in uh, Toastmaster activities. And it's uh, very visible in almost all um, persons that uh, that took place uh, that they take membership in Toastmasters. So I, I think it's hard to to show that to a, n a new person that comes here uh, to Toastmaster. But I always uh, tell them that uh, this is the, there are baby steps that you take, but the improvement is great. It's really okay. the magnitude is. Okay, but it would be hard to show this on the one first meeting. I will give you an example. I remember the situation. We had a club meeting on 2nd of May. Yeah. 2nd of May. So there was not many people, especially members. Between 1st that it's uh, time off or, and 3rd when there is time off, bank holidays. So the 2nd usually people take like longer weekends to go somewhere. So I was asked to take a role during this one meeting to be as uh, vice president of membership and actually a little bit as a surgeon to greet the guests. I remember this meeting because around 15 people there, but we had five guests, five guests from four different cities. Really? Yeah, they, they came to watch from Piotr Trybunalski, from Tomaszów Mazowiecki, right. and I believe one more city, I don't remember Especially now. Especially for that meeting. Yes. Yeah, yeah, just, just for this meeting. Yeah. And out of those five guests, yeah. in the next three weeks, four of them became members. Oh, that's, that's pretty good. And actually, it's after we talk later on, after they became members, actually, there was not important what they saw on the meeting. Actually, they were already convinced before meeting started. Oh, okay. How do you guess? Why? No, you contact them somehow? I greet them you greet at them. very the beginning. I take care of them at the very beginning, just before meeting. I was enthusiastic, I was happy that they came, especially, I was impressed that they even came from different cities. There was not the many, the many members so during the meeting, but still, it was the, at the very beginning we started on the high energy level. And I believe also we had some connections because like this little bit spark that they are in the right place. And I believe that they, they, they came here for something more than just spent yeah, uh, evening <laughs> when right. everybody left for holidays. Right. And still four out of five then. So this is why I get a little bit the first impression start even before meeting started. As a VPN, you have all team to make sure that this first impression is as good as possible because you were impressed by the speech. And you came to the meeting just for the speech, but other people may not. Maybe yeah. they want to be part of the community, maybe they are just searching what they can benefit from, they don't know yet. But if they will be treated at the very beginning really, really well, like make the conversation at the very beginning, no matter what you want to say to them, just make sure you listen and uh, Help them be like feel not like a guest already as a member. I believe them. Yeah, and try to recognize uh, what they uh, what they try to accomplish. Yeah. Yeah. And definitely you can test it. Yeah, maybe you will try to answer some questions uh, from uh, Facebook. I don't know how it works. Do you know how it works? Yes. Because I don't want to. Yes, you read the question, then you answer. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. But I don't see. <laughs> You don't say, <laughs> but is this re red button I need to press? I don't, I don't see from this distance. Okay, Charlie, question to you. Why you wanted to speak more fluent in pub public? Uh, well, the reason is uh, quite simple, because uh, a lot of time I need to uh, speak in public. 
uh, I try to um, try to help my father. My father is uh, one of uh, the founders of uh, one of the Polish uh, Wutski uh, clubs, uh, football clubs, oh. and I try to help them a lot. Uh, and many on many occasions, I need to uh, publicly speak to like all the trainees, all the administration, uh, <laughs> to when I want to put some changes in the, in a club, like uh, having a uh, having a new system installed for all the trainers. Uh, and so on and so forth <laughs> and uh, it was very difficult for me to do that uh, before I joined Postmark. <laughs> uh, I mean really really difficult Th those those meetings were horrible because of me and uh, I just needed to change that <laughs> yeah yeah sometimes it was laughable also uh, and it uh, changes like 100 degree even uh, we have uh, uh, this timetable uh, when we are uh, in uh, Toastmasters. Uh, so we have like uh, two minutes for a president, uh, for them one minute for introduction and so on. I even copied that into those uh, uh, meetings uh, in, in, in my father's club. And everyone was right, like very impressed, satisfied with this because they they, they know, know what's going yeah on. what's going on and said yeah this is this is great this is okay so I can. Uh, this is the most important part for me. Uh, I will focus on that, right? And uh, it helped me a lot. Yeah. Oh, I admire you because I remember when I, before I came to those masters, I was sure I am like really awesome speaker and I felt really comfortable on the stage. But then there was key off from feedback, and <laughs> I didn't know how bad I was on the stage. <laughs> you were really, you were conscious how bad, how good, how bad you are. Yeah, yeah, I was yeah. not conscious how bad I am. Yeah, this is not a great thing of feedback. <laughs> yeah. We get a lot of feedback in those masters. Yeah. Okay. Maybe next. Uh... What do you think about pathways? I guess that's for us. Maybe you, you can pathways. Yes, pathways. Okay. The new... I think this should be last. Or, or ask one of the uh, last questions. I really like the program. I like. I like definitely how it can be adapted, like more on personal level to each member. Yeah. Because British educational system. A, there was the manuals. If you want to advance to the next level, you need to do them with some flexibility. But actually, you may you you probably were not interested at them. You were like forced to do them if you okay. want to advance. Now, this is like much more flexible, much more adapted for the new technologies and. This is, when I check actually each path, uh, each level, each competencies, there was a lot at the very beginning, but actually it makes sense. Later on, there was the problem, and uh, there was the problem because the implementation of this pathway, especially on the digital way, is a little bit complicated. You need to get familiar on the website. It's more like self-service. Right. It's more information you get than previously, but in the manner it's not that easy to get at the very beginning. But when you get it, then and you actually follow these guidelines that are on the website, yeah. then it's tremendously helpful to prepare the speech much better than it was previously. And it's hard to judge later on because it's like half a year already. Mm. I think in the perspective of five years, we can say more about pathways and how it affected all the organization. Yeah. But so far, I like it. Um. Okay, I think we are going to the end. When you will be next on the meeting? Well, of course, at the next meeting. So, uh, the, well, we'll be in the next meeting, in the following.
Thursday. It will be Thursday at oh. seven. So you mean like every week at Thursday at seven? Exactly. Yeah. So exactly. and now when we were speaking about first impression, especially if you are a guest, please come and see Charlie in action. Oh, I, my speech is uh, <laughs> in three weeks, so. <laughs> but there are very good uh, speeches uh, this week, so. But definitely we will focus more on greeting members. Yeah, I, I will greet you perfectly, yeah. Come and see how I can greet you. <laughs> <laughs> on Thursday at 7. Yeah. Bye-bye. See you. Where? Boutique hotel, of course. Yes. Because behind the scene we see the like boutique hotel, 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 hotel. <laughs> boutique, boutique, boutique hotel at seven Thursday. Yeah. That's and it. he will be greeting you with a smile. <laughs> Bye.